On August 19th, residents of Portaka, the River State capital, woke up to the disturbing news of the cold-blooded killing of a young, innocent girl. Her suspected murderer, an undergraduate of the University of Port Akut, was paraded before a disbelieving crowd along with the remains of his victim. He had allegedly lured the child, who was a close relative, into his room, raped and killed her, then cut off vital organs from her body. We alerted our men. Our men responded. We got him arrested and then they interrogated him, after which he confessed to have killed her, raped her, killed her, and then got her vital organs for purposes of a ritual. When I look at the sack, I say, it's my daughter. They show me the sack bag. As I open it, I saw my daughter. I peep, I watch very quiet. The two eyes are off. The tongue is off. One of the breasts is off. Yeah. The two fingers, the small one, is off. Yeah. And if you watch at the center here, he carved out here. I start shouting. So this is not ordinary. While in police custody, another disturbing twist to the saga emerged as barely two days after his arrest, Ifai Dike bolted from police custody. It's true he escaped uh, from one of our IPOs. He was taken for statement. After his statement, he was being taken back to the counter where he would be detained. Uh, it's a space of about 50 kilometers between the counter and the interrogation room. He just took to his heels. And uh, the IPO, we found that instead of handcuffing him, he did not handcuff this guy. And that gave him an opportunity to run and escape. News of the suspected ritual killer's escape did not go down well with youths of the neighborhood who reacted angrily, setting off bonfires and barricading a section of the road in Eliozu. They even alleged some foul play at work. The police, however, insisted that everything is being done to ensure the rearrest of the fleeing suspect. I'm totally committed in seeing that the suspect is arrested, and any person involved, regardless of status, in aiding the escape of the suspect will be arrested, and if found wanting, will be dealt with in accordance with the law. Consequently, in pursuit of this resolve, one ex-sergeant, John Bosco, Koro Izzy, who after thorough investigation was discovered to have carried a premeditated action and aided the escape of the suspect even before he was taken into custody. With the recapture of suspected ritual killer Ifani Dike in faraway Jaws, Plateau State, it may not only rekindle some confidence in the ability of the police to do their job efficiently, but also give the victim's family a sense of closure that justice will be served.